Okay. Squirtle's first this time. I do not remember what this guy looks like at all, so I went off of um, the, the basic descriptions y'all gave. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Leah from Toon Runes here. So I'm recording this in post because I realized that the unscripted explanation for what we were doing in this video isn't very good, and I wanted to make it a bit clearer in case anyone was confused from the very vague and on-the-cuff explanation that I had given at the start. Basically, what we were doing here was a hybrid of both drawing characters from memory or drawing characters that we hadn't seen before based on brief descriptions from people who had seen them before. Either or, we weren't allowed to look at references or Google them to get a clearer idea. We each had five minutes total to complete our drawings, and at the end we compared them to actual 3D renders from the show itself to see how close or far off we actually were. Obviously, hilarity ensues. Most of my friends joining me here today have seen no Miraculous Ladybug at all, or they've only seen what I've shown them of it. Which honestly, isn't very much as you'll see throughout the video and their reactions to lore-related ramblings. If you want to participate and play along with us, pause this video now and go get some paper and a pencil and set a timer for 5 minutes and draw with us. You can tag me on Twitter or Instagram with your finished pieces, because I'm honestly really interested to see what other people come up with. Who knows, it might make it funnier if you play with us. And with explanations out of the way, it's time to get on to the video. Does everyone want to introduce themselves starting with 8-Bit? Hey, I'm 8-Bit, and I do the arts sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I'm Bone, Janky Bones. I do art also. That's about it. Uh, I'm Deli. Uh, I make videos, uh, and I also do art. Uh, Mike. I also do art sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Scorch. I do art a lot. <laughs> I'm like, you posers. Oh. Wow. Damn. Um, so yeah, so we're, basically what we're going to be doing is I'm going to give everybody a character um, and either a short description or people who have seen the show just draw from memory and we have five minutes to do each character. Um, so it's going to be interesting and we'll have a discussion uh, on all of them at the end of each round. So is everybody ready for the first round? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the first character that we're going to do, we're going to start off easy. We're going to do the main character, Ladybug. Does anyone need a description of Ladybug, actually? Uh, she's, she has a red suit, right? Yes. it's She's okay. a superheroine based off of a the insect Ladybug, um, and her power is of the power of creation. So if you haven't seen her before... Um, just think of a ladybug-themed superhero with the power of creation. So, five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, go. I was gonna say, she kind of looks like the thumbnail for that Hello Goodbye Target commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I think she, I mean, I've seen her before, but I've never watched it, so I think she's just like a CG anime girl, pretty much. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This is so bad. <laughs> it I mean, I've watched it before, but I also feel like I've never watched it before. I watched those episodes in that movie with you guys, and that's it. <laughs> the only other reference I have for it was when my friend kept getting Miraculous Ladybug posts recommended to them on Instagram, but they were like completely unironic Miraculous Ladybug posts. So they were people talking about like, oh my god, the cinematography in this episode is so fantastic. And it was like... <laughs> a 3D camera pan or something. I don't know. It was really weird. It might have been, um, there's this one thing, there's this one video that I can't tell if it was ironic or not because it was really, really funny. Because um, they're like, oh my god, the, the cinematography here looks really good. And it was like from Roger Cop. Uh, people who have seen Miraculous will know what I'm talking about, but it was like the, the Roger Cop fight scene, um, which does not look good at all. <laughs> So it was really, really funny. <laughs> and I couldn't oh tell God. if they were being ironic or not. And I'm like, this scene does not look good. Like, are you are you just trying to be funny? Like, I don't understand. Like, they sounded completely unironic. And I was like, oh no. Leah, are we uh are we doing um coin? <laughs> uh are we coin, what? Coin 
Binge uh, later. <laughs> if you want to do, if you want to do coin binge later, we can do coin. Oh my God, bling bling! What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> coin coin binge is is the akumatized villain that that Mike came up with, which is literally just Patrick Star. Oh <laughs> um, just warning you guys, we're running on one minute and thirty seconds. Left or yeah, left. Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck the polka dots. All right, all right, we're out of time. Everybody, stop. <laughs> Eight bit, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna give us like uh, export. Uh, all right, here's mine. It's really shite. I like how you included her yo-yo though. I, I remember the yo-yo. yo-yo. He has a yo-yo? <laughs> yeah, lucky charm. No. You just so casually said, I like how you included her yo-yo. <laughs> you know, as they have. Yeah, the yo-yo. <laughs> Alright, Bone, did you want to post yours next? Yes, alright. Oh. Um, here she is. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I, I just know she's got big eyes and I don't know. She doesn't look like a ladybug to me. Maybe it's because I think her spots are supposed to be all the same size. Um, this is my version of her, also known as Dalmatians killed my mom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> she's the Dalmatian that killed a thousand moms. <laughs> Wait for the pretty cool film. I love, I love how you just, man, I love the miraculous ladybug name song. Yo, yo, ball commercial. <laughs> Derogatory. It's like, it's so much my, like, ladybugs killed my mom? I, I don't know. Yeah, um, ladybugs, ladybugs killed my mom. Her, her mom swallowed a ladybug one time. And, now I and then she choked on it, and that's how she died. Oh my god, there's a book about that. Yeah, the little old lady who swallowed a fly. Oh my. Okay. okay. All right, until you're next. It's very sad, and I didn't get to dap up my yo yo, but you know. Got I, the very I love her. Love her. <laughs> Perfection. I love her. Do you know what? Um, she reminds me of how, um, you know how they have those little sketch scenes in the show with like uh, Mari and Adrian. And it's uh, kind yeah. of, that's kind of what it reminds me of because they have like those little uh, sketched out models. Oh no, <laughs> it's, it's it's me next, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh boy, I didn't export it, so you guys are just gonna get my side screen. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to space. I forgot oh, the name. Like Chitilly? What's Little the buddy. bug's name? Tiki. Anki? <laughs> no, her name, her, name is, her name is Tiki. T I K K I. Yeah. Are Why is your file size so long? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> the okay. left corner, the navigator, holy okay, shit. Okay, 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 so you want to hear a funny story? Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, when I was taking a math class, we needed to write everything by hand, and I didn't want to scan it, so I just did it in Sci, and I made the canvas size really long because it needed to be one page. So I just had like 30 math problems and their work on this canvas, and that's why it's long because I was too lazy to change. It. <laughs> oh my god, it's so long, girl. All right, Mike, would you like to show the class? Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, Tiki's no. horrifying, but I really like I really like Marinette. I Thank oh you. my god. I, I went from like, oh, that's really neat, and then like, what the hell is that on the right? <laughs> Ten seconds Can you please left? just get a zoom in on that face? Thanks. <laughs> that's, that's the, that's the mark of a, a, a chaotic being right there. <laughs> Tiki Pure. looks like she's gonna just stray this model for season village. five. I, I think it would work really well. <laughs> it's like the miraculous lady. <laughs> 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 That thing come by my house, I kill it. What the fuck? <laughs> Scorch, are you ready? Uh, yeah. So, um, she kind of just turned into Sailor Moon. But oh my god, I love the hair! 
Oh Thank my you. God. Her hair is so cute. Also, oh my God, what? Tiki bug. <laughs> what is Tiki bug? <laughs> the energy of Tiki. Uh, she looks like she hasn't slept in like five hundred years. Wait, oh my God. One second. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna post an image of what she actually looks like now so you guys can see uh, how close we were um, to the actual design. So here she is. So I feel oh like <laughs> I feel I like everybody did a pretty good job for the most part. <laughs> I forgot she's like a superhero when she has a mask. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I. The, she has identity. The two specific details I forgot about were like the mask and then the little ribbons that like tie up her little like pigtails. All right. So the next character that we're gonna do is Chloe Bourgeois. I think I'm saying her last name correct this time. She um, sounds like a sandwich. <laughs> a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's she's not a sandwich, but she's basically the very definition of white girl summer. Like that's like <laughs> the best definition that I could give of her. She's like um, this really snobby rich girl, and her father is the the mayor of Paris, um, mm. and she also is the holder or was the holder of the Bee Miraculous. So I think that's probably, like, the best description that I could give based on what you may think she looks like. She's also, she serves as kind of, like, an antagonist for the series, but not really. She basically just gets people pissed off a lot, and then that causes them to be vulnerable to Hawk Moth. So that's basically Chloe. Disco girl energy. <laughs> that's accurate as well. Um, I'm going to be setting the timer off in five... Four, three, two, one, go. I feel like there's one character I think she looks like, and I might just be drawing a completely different character, but... I mean, she also, she tends to hang around, um, she tends to hang around with one person, so I wouldn't be surprised if you got them confused. This is probably the scariest thing I've ever drawn. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh... I mean, to be fair, like, I've watched the show all the way through, like, a few times, and I feel like what I'm doing is not even anywhere close to what it needs to be. How much time? Uh, two minutes just... and 55 seconds. Okay, huh? We just started! <laughs> you I'm guys are the ones who wanted to cut it down! Her Kwame is a B if anyone, want, if anyone has time to do that or wants to. What? <laughs> The who? Her Kwame, her Kwame's a B. I don't know what her Kwame is. But I don't know was. what a Kwame is, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Is that I'm, to ask. I'm just saying if anyone has any extra time. No, the Kwame is what Tiki was. So like those little floating creepy things. She gets one of those. Is yes. she a hero? Um, that's debatable. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. All right, stop. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Scorchel, you're Fun. first then. All right. Uh, give me exactly two seconds. I have. I don't think I've ever seen or heard of this character in my life. So um, you're gonna get what you get. <laughs> I okay. I actually really like this. <laughs> 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 it looks like uh, that, like blush emoji. It's like <laughs> okay, but the the reason why I'm laughing is because that isn't far off from how she actually is. <laughs> like she's really, really bad. <laughs> like, are you ready? No, but we'll see. I really feel like I was pretty close. This is all I could remember of her. <laughs> Oh. Is she holding the Starbucks? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> the sunglasses. The intimidation. It's me next. Um, 
the only thing I like about my drawing is pollen, and she wasn't even the wasn't even the prompt, so <laughs> cute. <laughs> Pollen's a little baby. <laughs> the only I didn't thing in her best, best life. All right, Deli, you're next. The only thing that made her distinct here was the addition of a hydro flask that looks nothing like a hydro flask. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, that hydro flask. <laughs> the flexing of the money. I feel like she's about to Yu Gi Oh duel me. You're just oh, steal like... your 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 whole deck, though. I feel like she wouldn't even duel. Just be like, okay, I'm buying you. All right, cool. All right, Bone, your turn. Um. So I missed the part where you mentioned uh, if you ever mentioned that she's like bee themed. I totally missed that. And I didn't have time to draw the uh, the little bee buddy pollen or whatever, so I just gave her a money. <laughs> Why does she look? Like- Why does she look like a mash of like a like a creepy looking Barbie doll and like a rascal? Like Angelica's mom. Angelica's mom. <laughs> Angelica's mom. Looks like she's about to make yeah. a meat can. Here. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have time to color in some of the spots. <laughs> Please edit in that scream over her face. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That's right. <laughs> All right, Ape, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's this one's really stupid. All right, so at first I'm just gonna draw her like little, 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 little bitch girl that she is, and then last minute I decide you know just fuck I'm gonna just combine her and her little like little spirit bee thing. Do you know what it it's looks like? Scary. It looks it looks like it looks like the the love child of that lady from the B movie and Barry Benson. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do we have a full body reference? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I was kind of right. I feel like most people did capture her energy though. That's okay. what she looks like. <laughs> yeah. So you guys weren't that far <laughs> off. Hey guys, so quick interruption here as well as a break from the rest of the video since it's pretty long, but I wanted to take the time to talk about the tablet that I was using in today's video. The folks over at Gaoman sent me one of their tablets for free with the condition that I review it on my channel. And considering I've been using the same drawing tablet since I was in middle school and was looking for a newer one at the time that they contacted me, I figured why not? Now, I'm being fully transparent here in saying that they didn't pay me to leave them a good review, and they didn't say that I needed to leave a positive one. So I'm going to be as honest as I possibly can here, and hopefully give you an answer on whether or not this tablet is right for you, if you're looking for one. I'll also be doing a serious drawing as well of my Kwame OC Ver, since while I'm not the best artist, I did feel it was only fair to try and do an actual drawing here while giving a review, rather than a 5 minute doodle that isn't really testing out the features of the tablet all too well. So the model that I was sent for the review is the PD1560, which has the 15.6 inch display and a 1920 by 1080 screen resolution. It runs for $299.99 on Amazon, which isn't a lot in comparison to other drawing tablets with similar features. It also comes with an adjustable removable stand, a rechargeable pen, a pen stand that doubles as a nib remover, replacement pen nibs, a travel case for the tablet, and a glove for your drawing hand to make movement easier and protect the screen from the oil on your hands. It fits both right and left so you don't need to worry about whether it will fit on your dominant hand or not. The tablet itself also has 10 shortcut keys, of which you can set to be whatever you want in the menu that installs with the tablet. So let's start with the pros first, and then I'll move on to the cons. The first pro that's 
very obvious is the price. While $299 is still a considerable amount of money, other tablets of this size and ability are usually more expensive, averaging about $400 if you were looking at the cheaper ones. And if you were to look at a tablet such as a Cintiq or other Wacom tablet, which can run between $639 and $2,499 depending on the model that you get, it's a pretty considerable size difference. So if budget is something that's important to you and you don't have a lot of money to spend, this might be a major selling point. Something that I also like about this tablet is that the screen display is pretty damn clear, which might be something that you're worried about when looking at the price tag. There wasn't much of a difference between the tablet display itself and the clarity of my laptop display that I had it hooked up to. A lot of times, things can become blurry or grainy, like if you're using a cheap HDMI cable on a really big TV or something like that. But in terms of this specifically, I didn't see any problems whatsoever. You can also set what colors you would like for the display, so if the lighting from your computer screen bothers your eyes or you feel it isn't accurate to your computer screen, you can change it in your tablet settings using the side buttons. This is pretty easy to do, and it has a wide range of color modes that you can choose from, though I personally prefer to go with the default. In terms of device compatibility, I was using this tablet on my 2018 HP Pavilion laptop that's running the latest version of Windows 10, and I virtually had no issues setting it up once I did some basic troubleshooting. It was as easy as connecting the tablet to my computer, allowing it to recognize the device and install a setup. Unfortunately, the first setup wasn't working for me on my computer, so what I did was just go to their website and install the driver that was listed under the model that I was using, and boom. Problem solved after a quick restart. The tablet is also relatively easy to connect to your computer, as there's only three wires that you need to use. There's the power cable, a USB cord, and an HDMI cable. All of these cables come with the tablet, so there's no worry in buying them separately or finding ones that are compatible with your device. It really is as simple as plugging the three cables in and then being ready to draw. The pen itself is also pretty responsive and syncs well with your movements, and I haven't needed to recalibrate it past the initial setup. It has 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, but as many artists have pointed out in other reviews, once you get to 2000 pressure sensitivity, you really have a hard time telling the difference on anything higher than that. And while the pen does need to be charged, I've charged it right out of the box and haven't had to charge it since, and I've been using it on and off for a few weeks now. They don't have an official battery life listed anywhere for the pen itself, since it depends on how much you're using it. I've seen some people online claim that they've only had to charge it once a month with frequent usage, but take that with a grain of salt, since again, it depends on how much you're using it and your usage patterns probably differ. A good idea would probably be to look at other reviews and see what the reviewer says about the pen life, since that's how you'll get an accurate average lifespan. The stand is also super easily adjustable, as there's a lever on the back that allows you to slide it up and down depending on your preference. It's also incredibly sturdy once you have it set, so you don't need to worry about it moving around anywhere or slipping. Now, on to the cons. While the stand itself is very dependable and sturdy, it is time-consuming both to attach and remove from the tablet. Not difficult, but time-consuming if it's something that you need to do often. You actually need to do this with a screwdriver, and there's four screws that hold it into place. Now, this wouldn't be as annoying if the tablet could fit in its case with the stand on, but it can't. In order to put it in its case, the stand needs to be taken off. I feel that this will only be a problem to those who travel long distances with their tablets or prefer to put them away after use to protect them from becoming dirty rather than just leaving it set up at home. However, it is worth mentioning. The tablet itself is very lightweight and isn't difficult to move around from room to room. I can only see this being a problem if you are taking it with you back and forth to school and or work or taking it with you on business trips away from home or something similar. It's worth mentioning that the tablet itself does come with all of the tools needed to set it up properly, including the screwdriver, so that isn't something that you need to worry about. Now, one thing that I did need to mention is the cables. There's three cables that you need in order to use this tablet. As I mentioned previously, those cables are the power cable, an HDMI cable, and a USB cable. While these are all separate wires, they do come connected to each other, I'm assuming to help create a neater interface. However, at least for me, this does the opposite. My HDMI slot and USB slot are actually on entirely different sides of my laptop, and so I needed to stretch the wires to their limit in order to actually connect everything where it needed to be connected. While it does fit, one concern that I have is that the wires may wear out quicker because of the angles that they're being forced to twist and connect at. I understand that the intention was likely to make everything neater, sort of like if you put a zip tie around them to keep them all in one place, but in my case, it honestly just made it more difficult to connect. 
The bulkiness also made it too difficult to fit the cable through the slot where all of the wires to my computer go, which is why I tested this device on my laptop rather than the PC that I use for all of my editing. If the cables were individualized, I could probably sneak them behind the computer and fit them in the spaces where they could fit. It probably would have just been easier if they gave you a Velcro strip to keep them together if you wanted to, rather than making it mandatory and therefore limiting the distance that they can all reach individually. In terms of an overall rating for this tablet, I would say that it's a good first time tablet that you can get that has a display, and it's also a good budget tablet if you wanted to keep it low on cost or if you can't afford the more expensive ones. If you're just starting out, I would really advise against putting your money into something like a Cintiq. And this isn't advice just for tablets, but for everything in general. I also give that same advice when it comes to microphones or computers. A lot of you know that I started out recording videos on my phone, and I started out editing on an 8-year-old laptop. That was sufficient for the time being, and I upgraded as time went along. I think it's the same case here. I think something like this is a great starter if it's your first time transitioning to doing art digitally rather than traditionally. It's sufficient for both drawing as well as thumbnail making in Photoshop, which I've used it for with little to no issues. For hobbyists, beginners, or people just doing their homework since most classes are being done online right now, I think this tablet is a perfect fit for you if you don't want to take a major hit on your bank account. I give it an 8 out of 10. But before making any purchases on a product like this, I do think it's important to watch other tablet reviews or to do your own research regarding which tablet is best for you and your work ethic. I recommend channels like Brad Kolbau or Crown Prince if you're in the market for one. They've both reviewed this tablet model as well, so it may be worth watching their videos if you're seriously considering purchasing it. Thank you to Gaumon for sending me this tablet for a review, and now we're back to the video. Okay, so the next one is going to be Hawk Moth, which is the villain of the series. <laughs> so he's basically, um, I'm trying to think of an app description for him. He's like an older- I'll give you an app description, hold on. Let me type it out. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy, what's Mike typing? Where's your description? <laughs> That's not wrong! That's not wrong! <laughs> okay, so Hawk Moth is the supervillain of the show. He basically makes people into villains by manipulating their negative emotions. Um, his Kwame, so the magical being that he uses to power his miraculous, is a butterfly. Uh, despite his name being Hawk Moth, it is in fact a butterfly. There's no hair in his villain design. Like, there's, that's something that's important to note. There's no hair. That's the only oh. hint that I'm giving. He, he's not bald. Long there's hair. just no hair. <laughs> I mean, go ahead and draw him. <laughs> go ahead and draw him with long hair if you want to. Um, and he has a cane. But his his cane is his, uh, is his weapon. <laughs> 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 and oh. we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, go. I think. It's, oh god, this is the first one that I'm doing a full body of because I feel like you need the full body experience. I'm sorry in advance. Thank it's you. fine. Mine looks so awful. We have two minutes and forty-two seconds, by the way. To be fair, I feel like it's very difficult to draw Gabriel. Wait, is that his name? Yeah, his actual name is Gabriel. It's a twink-ass name. <laughs> Ink his mask looks something like this. Fuck, he has a mask! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, five, four, three, two, one. Alright, and we're done. Okay. Scorchel's first this time. I, I went off of what I do not remember what this guy looks like at all, so I went off of um, the, the basic descriptions y'all gave. I'm the coolest! I'm the face! It's like one of those like anime how to books on chibi art style. <laughs> yeah, nice. it looks like those memes where it's like they're looking into each other's eyes. Oh yeah. my god! You're right, it does! Yeah. <laughs> Mike, are you ready? I'm so ready. Oh no! I, I'm on the nose right here. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to the big pants. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, that's, that's, that is pretty- That is pretty close, Stop looking at me with them big ol' eyes! <laughs> 
This is mine. <laughs> to be honest, no, his name is Noob. No, move me your beat. I'll sh- I, th- that's gonna make more sense in a minute, I promise. Like, at the very, very end, it's going to make sense. Alright, Deli, it's your turn. I apologize in advance. Uh, 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 <laughs> taking a while to load is. And Mr. Meaty horrifies me. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I love the shading. That- Hawkmoth <laughs> ASMR, he stares you down. Butterflies hands for me. You stare into his eyes lovingly. No, I have a wife. Amelia, don't run over me. You guys are turning Irish. <laughs> you need to post mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can post these now. Yeah, bone. I'm sorry, That's it's funny. not anywhere close to y'all's. And I gave him a last second mask when I heard he, he had one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, one kind of bite. I just, I like his boob window. I like, I like I his boob window. What, what was the inspiration there? I was thinking of uh, patterns on the butterfly, and then it was like his this nipples could be the pattern. <laughs> This looks like a beef patty that like wasn't cooked in certain spots. <laughs> he's gonna start like slurping and he's gonna suck it into his mouth and then it's gonna be like a vacuum. I was gonna say, you just hear like a vacuum noise. <laughs> you know that you're about to be akumatized because you hear the vacuum. <laughs> Take it away, you bit. I, I know I am, I don't know what you guys are. I'm, I'm wondering if anyone can tell what I like, reference, but here we go. Is that Mr. You? Queen? That's <laughs> from TFL, but- girl! I, I, the moment you mentioned, like, bald person, I was like, oh, I know who to use as the reference. <laughs> Why does he look like male wife? It's, un- it's uncanny. <laughs> it's uncanny how accurate we just, we got from saying bald and big eyes. <laughs> Why does Nuru kind of look like uh, that that purple blue thing, like this? Oh my god! That looks like a Mike and Ike. We're doing we're we're gonna be drawing uh, Cat Noir next, and he's the last round. So he's basically um, the cat superhero, as you can probably guess. And his power is the power of destruction. Also, Hawk Moth is his father. So, that you cut out Hawk Moth is his dad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hawk Moth is Cat Noir's father, but Cat Noir is unaware, and Hawk Moth is also unaware that his son is Cat Noir. Wow. I'm still screaming over custom Beanos. <laughs> I'm about to start the timer in five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> so, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I may have have given up, but also like I'm kind of happy with what came out so far. <laughs> Thank you.
we're starting. Yeah, we're starting with eight minutes this time. All right, this. I think I put the best of my ability on that last one because this one's very. <laughs> 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 I love him. <laughs> All right, Bone, your turn. I just drew him from memory. I've seen him before a few times. I'm sorry about his little cat, but B. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I also love how Plague is just in full like Lucy mode from Disenchantment. <laughs> he literally looks like the, the like. You don't enjoy, like the the content scaled cat. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Find a picture yeah. of what you're talking about. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I think that's what I was channeling. <laughs> Deli, your turn. <laughs> oh, baby. The cheese. I like how you got like the cataclysm going on too. He's yep. such a baby. The what? Okay, oh. so his his power is called cataclysm, and basically he has the power to destroy anything he touches. Literally Jeez. anything. Yeah, anything he touches will literally turn into dust. I I, I love explaining miraculous to people <laughs> who have never seen that boy. It. Settle down. <laughs> I thought he had, like, the power of being uwu or some shit. No, he has the power to destroy anything he touches. He's literally the- his miraculous is the miraculous of destruction. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I love him. Let me get mine up. Um, so I gave up on drawing him as a human because his hair just was not doing it for me. So, uh, I just- I drew him as a cat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For your cat saying you. everything. Oh, my warrior cat so she. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just a regular cat. Uh, he's just a little boy, and then uh, Plague is just looking smug. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a warrior cat can't have a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, your turn. Oh, here we go. Oh no! Yeah. What yeah. did you do to him? You'll see. I'm very concerned. Dorino <laughs> 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 Chin! Oh my gosh, that's so good! Alright, Scorchel, your turn. Alright. I'm relieved that we didn't have the same idea. Okay. That just means more <laughs> one one more cursed idea though. Oh my god. No! <laughs> I'm going to be dumb here. I'm, refer- I'm referring back to the like the only episode of Miraculous I've ever seen. <laughs> Which was Cat Blanc, wasn't it? Yeah, the one where he literally became whiter and ended the world. <laughs> it was literally I mean- White Boy Summer. <laughs> He became a colonizer? No, no, his his father found out who he was for an episode, mind you. He doesn't know anymore. He found out who he was and akumatized him into Cat Blanc, which is basically just Cat Noir, except his outfit is white. And he destroyed the moon. And then he also destroyed all of Paris and literally killed everybody. Oh my God. And uh, here, here, here's what he actually looks like. There we go. There we go. Um, let me actually show Cat Blanc as well since we talked about him. <laughs> Eyes are blue. He did become white. Oh my god, his skin. Alright, well, that was whatever that was. <laughs> Drawing miraculous characters either from description or from memory. Uh, I hope you guys had fun <laughs> drawing this. I think the Hawk Moth Ground was my favorite because of how cursed it was. Uh, and did you guys want to, like, like, where people can find you real quick? 
No, I don't want anybody to know I did this, so. What's <laughs> 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 going on? back to affect your career. Uh, oh God. I guess you can check me out on Twitter at 8 art. I don't really do 8-bit art, I just do polygonal esque art. Um, uh, <laughs> Bone Janky at Twitter. That's me. Wacky Deli on YouTube, Deli Wacky on Twitter, and Coin Bitch and everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you can follow my cool art accounts. Uh, they're difficult to say, so I guess we'll words on screen now, maybe? If they're doing that fancy. <laughs> Leah, you got that? Yeah, I got <laughs> Are you sure you'll be able to handle that advanced editing? I'm gonna have to write it on a piece of paper and hold it up. <laughs> I believe it. And uh, Mike at SU everywhere. Uh, and you guys already know where to find me because uh, if, if you haven't, I, I don't know how you're watching this video. It'd be actually kind of impressive, honestly. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful night despite the cursed drawings that you've just seen or a wonderful morning or afternoon. I don't know why I just spoke like that. Anyways, um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it won't be as cursed. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Everybody say bye-bye. Bye. Adios. Bye. 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 Bye.